They're only allowed one meaty steak each. Boo! Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is about 11.15 p.m. and I just got home and this is what the wheatgrass is looking like. I left it downstairs with the cats and uh, it looks like they've been walking in it and maybe even laying in it and it's starting to turn yellow and dry out. And uh, so I want to uh, say hello to the cats for a few minutes and then, you know, go hang out with Boo, put him in his room and then give the cats free room. Boo has been crying like a baby at this door. Boo. What's the matter? Just give me a few minutes, okay? You know you don't want to come downstairs right now. Just give me a few minutes. Hello, Simba. Hello, Stella. How are you? Do you hear Boo crying at the door? Boo's a baby sometimes. Hello, Simba. Hello, Splash. How are you? Okay, these are the three automatic feeders. They should all have breakfast ready for tomorrow in them. Well, let's see uh, if they worked and let's see if the cats ate their meals. Okay, so here's the first one. Yep, that worked great, and the cats ate everything, and that's tomorrow's breakfast. Here's another feeder. This worked great, the cats ate everything, and there's tomorrow's breakfast. And here's the third feeder. This worked great also, the cats ate everything, and there's tomorrow's breakfast. There's a few little uh, nuggets left over from today's dinner. Okay, it is time for meaty sticks. The cats did not have their St. Patrick's Day meaty stick treat. And since I was away for the past 36 hours, they're gonna get some meaty sticks right now, right guys? Ready for meaty sticks? Okay. I would like Splash to be the first one to get a meaty stick. But, but Stella has chased it down. And Stella has decided this is her meaty stick. I don't know if you guys could hear what's going on with Boo, but he's like crying at the door and he's banging on the door. Okay. Simba, so don't eat Stella's meaty stick. They're only allowed one meaty stick each. Boo! Okay. Simba's getting his meaty stick. Boo's upsetting the cats, so. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to give one to Splash because Splash kind of went into hiding. Okay, eat it, Simba. Okay, Splash just ate his meaty stick also. I held it out to him and he ate it right away. So very good job, Splash. And I did not want to freak him out or anything by taking the camera out. So um, that's why you guys missed it. Okay, let's see what Boo did. So right away here, we see he did not finish his breakfast the, from uh, yesterday. And then this is his feeder. So let's see, did Boo eat all of his food or no? And that would be no. So this was today's dinner. That was today's breakfast. And that would have been yesterday's dinner. He did not even touch yesterday's dinner. Boo, that's not good. Would you like a meaty stick though? I could give you a meaty stick. Okay, I am trying to give Boo a meaty stick, but I mean, he's, he's acting like a maniac. Oh my God, there's no there's like, here, 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 slow, slow, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh 
Boo is just, Boo gets too overexcited when it comes to certain things. Did you like that, Boo? Boo, did you like that? Did you taste it? Was it good? That's it, no more. I'll give you a, a crunchy mouse and that's it. Okay, because tomorrow's another day, boo. Tomorrow's another day, you eat more food tomorrow. Okay, I know you're happy I'm home. But tomorrow's another day, okay? It's late. Okay, I just gave Boo one of the feeder mice full of crunchies. Well, not totally full of crunchies, about half full of crunchies. And he's enjoying that, and he's also in his room for the night. The downstairs cats are also getting feeder mice. Come on, guys, who wants a mouse? Who wants a mouse? I have three mice in my hand. Who wants a mouse? Splash, want a mouse? Somebody, want a mouse? Stella, you want a mouse? Come on. Let's have mice. Time for mice. Simba has his mouse. Stella has her mouse. And Splash is his mouse. And they might all just share the mice because that's what they did when they were outside. They always shared their catches. And um, yeah, see, that this is what they used to do when they were outside. Like one of them would usually uh, kill a bird and then the rest of them would share it like this. So uh, it's interesting that they have the same behavior with um, these mice. And the reason why I have not been hiding these mice, I mean, the instructions say that you can hide the mice for your cat uh, if you, you know, if you want to do that. Um, the reason why I haven't done that is just because I try to give them each a mouse, hoping that it will be kind of evenly split between the three of them. My concern with hiding them is that maybe, like Stella, would just find them all and eat them all herself versus Simba and Splash getting some. But I kind of, I do like what they're doing right now. The fact that, you know, they're splitting this mouse between them and then they'll probably go to the next one and split that between them and then go to the next one and split that between them. And so I actually think it's kind of cute that they're doing it this way. Because it's a total flashback to like when the kittens were small and Stella was teaching them how to hunt and stuff. Oh, but there goes Splash. Look, he just went to his own mouse over there. Yeah, cool. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to open the door. You guys can come up whenever you want, okay? Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.